Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's workout. We've got power Pilates. So what does that mean? We're gonna take that intensity and just gear it up one notch. You're gonna add weights. We're gonna be using anywhere from two to five pound dumbbells. This is a full body workout. You're gonna be working those arms, your core, and your legs. There's two blocks of work today, 15 moves, 40 seconds of work with a 12 second transition. If you're ready for this workout, give me a thumbs up and do make sure if you're new, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. Roll the shoulders back. We're gonna be squatting down. As you squat down, you're gonna reach forward and rise up. So bend the knees, flat back and take yourself up nice and tall. So think in this power Pilates, I really want you to think about length throughout this whole workout and drawing the abs up and in, embracing the core. I'll turn to the side so you can see that length in the spine. And as you reach, your arms are gonna go right by your ears. Drop into that squat, look out in front. Give me one more. And we're gonna take a lateral lunge to the right and a sweep with a side stretch. Take your time. We're gonna move in all different directions today. As you do that side bend, press those hips forward. Take it to your left, nice lateral to the left, and side bend. When you're bending, make sure you're lengthening up as you go into that reach. You're gonna feel so much taller after this workout today. That's what's so great about Pilates. Great balance to all your heavy strength training. Just grab that right knee as it comes up, drop your forehead down and then switch. So we're gonna round into that back. Ooh, work out a little balance here. And use the exhale when you pull the knee up. And again, hollow out that core. So use your feet. They're gonna help you balance here. The inside of that foot. Come to the back of your mat and we're gonna round it down and walk out to your plank. Once you're there, up dog, drop the hips, chest up, and then down dog. Bend the knees, we call that crouching, and then right back into your up dog. Down dog, pull the abs up and in, crouch. Up dog, open up the front, down dog. One crouch, now come to all four. And in that position, just give me cat cow. So you're gonna draw the abs in, round the back, and then release eyes up. One more. And then from that position, just drop into your shoulders and press away. So again, you're gonna sink and press. One more. Turn your hands the other direction, a little stretch in the wrist here. Lean your hips back. And last one here. We're up at standing. Your right leg is going to do a tap to the front. So we're going to do twisting in the spine. So a little tap to the front, circle it to the back. And as you get warmer, maybe you kind of lift the leg a little bit more. You get a little wobbly. Ooh, get that waist to warm up. How we do it on balance? All right, relax, let's do the other leg. So find your ground, take the leg in front and in back. And smaller can be easier, right? So if you feel really wobbly or get a chair near you. Helps to warm up the hips. And lift up and in in that waist. All right, just a nice round down here. So drop the head down. Roll yourself up. 
And we're getting ready for an upright row with a first position in the leg. So grab, I'm gonna be grabbing five, so if you feel like you want a little bit lighter, you definitely go there. Your heels are together, toes are turned out, so we call that first position, or Pilates stance, and we're gonna do an upright row with a heel lift. So, as you pull the weights up, you're gonna lift the heels, and then release. I'm gonna push my dumbbells together for some added resistance. Pull up and in in the core, and the weight is just skimming the front of your body. Just don't, you know, hurt yourself. But you pull it up, press it down. And then you feel your inner thighs and your butt activate. So go ahead and zip it and press it down. Get those toes to work for you today. Take it out into a second position. So we're gonna go heels and toes turn out, roll the shoulders back, drop into your sumo and hold here. We're gonna do a calf raise and a curl. So we're gonna curl and lift the calf, the heel up, and then sink in that sumo squat. So hammer curls, fist to shoulder, pull your chest up. No need to go fast. We're just gonna take it nice and slow. Work on that range of motion. Relax your fingers and then sink a little bit lower if you can. I'm gonna go to my three and we're gonna be doing some leg circles. Reaching the arms straight overhead, right leg extends out in front, leg is lifted, circling for eight in one direction. And then reverse that direction. Now relax the shoulders, draw up and in on the abs. To the side, arms in T, give me eight circles. Keep the leg long and then reverse it. So we're challenging your balance, by adding movement and great posture. And then you can just hold it if you got all of them. Relax, roll the shoulders. Left leg extends out, arms reach. So again, think of length here. Lift the foot up. Give me those eight circles. And then reverse it. They're not big. So you wanna stay in control of the movement here. Pulling it in, out to T. Leg is out, give me eight circles. and reverse it. So your option is to point the toe, you can flex the foot, whatever works for you. There's no wrong way here. Can you hold? Sumo squat. So now we're gonna do some powerful movements here. We're gonna be taking it out and up. So we're gonna step in one direction and then the other, roll the shoulders back, big step out to the right, reach it up. So this is just gonna bring that heart rate up but still have great posture here. If the weight is too heavy, you can make it an upright row. Maybe you click the heels together in that first position when you come up. This workout's great. It's gonna be no jumping, low impact, but the intensity comes from you. Bring your body into first position. And then your left leg is gonna be kicking three times to the front, right? And then three to the side and three to the back. Arms reach out behind you, three to the front. Your pace, three to the side. And a little hinge forward, three to the back. And again, front. You can keep the foot pointed. I like a little point flex. Works for me. Front. 
side. Back. Now, think of the length in your body. Shoulders down, chest is open. Lengthen your leg away from the body. Try to get those three in into the back. Release. Woo. So from that position, I wanna have you guys go. Roll the shoulders back, a sumo squat again. We're gonna take it down. Curl and press. Drop, curl, press. Drop, reach. And then once you have a nice fluid movement here, if you wanna just take it down and swing it up, you can go into that position or stay with the curl press. Or you can change them up. Big reach to the sky. I'm gonna have your right leg stay grounded. We're gonna pick up that left leg, bring it to the back. I'm just gonna turn to the side. I'm gonna have my leg bent, my elbows bent, and I'm gonna kick the leg and extend the legs. So I'm in warrior three position here. It's a little kick back and a little butt kicker. Lock the elbows into your ribs. Draw the abs up and in. Lots of fine tuning in here, right? Try to keep your leg lifted and not bring the knee into the chest. And when you extend the leg, push through the heel. I'm getting hot now, how about you? Woo yeah. That's because there's a lot of stuff working here. Great job, come on, extend. Relax, all right, we're gonna go back to the kicks. So this time it's on the right leg, roll the shoulders back. Your right leg is gonna kick to the front three, side three, and back three, arms by the side. Three to the front, three to the side, and three to the back. And you can hinge forward when you go to that back kick. Draw the abs up and in. It's okay to lean. <laughs> Go as big as you feel that you can, but stay in control of that movement. This one feels good. Good for your balance. Finish it off. Two, three, all right. Roll the shoulders back. This time we're gonna be squatting down, reaching up, so punch it down, punch it up. Big step out to your right, center, left. Drop, push. And when you come to the top, can you really give me length? Reach it up. And how low can you get? But keep your eyes lifted. Keep your chest up. Big reach up there, please. Come on. You got 10 seconds. Woo. All right, we're gonna ground onto the left leg. Do that kick back. We good to go? We're all good. All right, so we're gonna pick up your right leg, hinge forward, have everything is bent, and straighten it out. Lengthen, right? Keep your elbows by your rib cage. Again, watch that posture. Pull that low belly in. And if your balance sucks, maybe you need to have a chair. You could just do one arm. Keep it up. Lock in your elbows, please. Come on. Find that balance. Keep the knee lifted. Don't let the knee lower down. Remember, heel to the butt. All right, you're gonna be in that middle of the mat. Now open the feet up a little wider, a little turn out. We're gonna shift to the right with a fly, come to center, and then go to your left. So you shift forward, fly, center, left. So come up to center, then hinge and bend in that knee. 
and think of all those amazing back muscles and then push the hips forward and lengthen through the torso. Brace that core. Lift. Bring it up. Come up tall right there. Oh, this is gonna be a great one. This is a star. So you're gonna turn your right foot slightly out. We're gonna be lifting up the left leg, reaching into a star, and then tapping it down. So you can pause for a moment, and then tap it down. Hold, and release. Now, here's what's gonna help you out. Your toes and your core. Inside of the foot, Now this last one, I want you to just hold it. You just hold strength and stillness here. Reaching in T, lengthen your leg, pull your abs up and in, hold on to this. Great job. Oh, nobody fell. Roll the shoulders back, maybe a little twist. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Turn your left foot slightly out. We're gonna lift into that star and then tap it down. You can bring the waist into the shoulders. Oh yeah, every leg is gonna be different, right? Try to look at something that's not moving because I could fall. But if you fall, you fall with grace and you get back up. Oh, come on. Now hold this, right? Hold that star. So when we start to wobble, think about your feet, right? Use the big toe, use the inside of your foot a little bit here. Lengthen, embrace. Woo, all right, we're gonna finish off with some mountain climbers. Then you get some water and we come back. So let's come into plank. And you can go slow, you can go fast. Depends on how you're feeling today. But knees in, I'm not gonna go too fast. Shoulders press down. Abs pull up and in. And use your breath. Pilates is about control. Using the breath. Using that powerhouse. Maybe now you just go a little bit faster. Maybe you can cross the mountain. little child pose here. All right, this is a great opportunity to just stretch for a moment, catch your breath, and then we're gonna come into the next series of 15. So get a drink of water, oh, and then we're gonna go back into this. We got 30 seconds, you guys. So get that water. Whew. So 15 seconds, we're gonna get going here. We're gonna be on our right hand, and we have a side plank. Ladies, we got 10 seconds. You can be on your elbow. So we're gonna be in side plank. You're gonna bend the knees, drop the hip, and then you come up and thread through. So by bending the knees, we're gonna let the hip drop. And then we're gonna thread it through. Again, your option would be on the elbows. I'll go to a little modification here. I can be on the elbow, drop the hip, and still thread it through. Bending the knees just slightly. Five seconds, and then we're gonna be using a towel underneath our knee for kneeling side kick. So we're gonna have the left leg lifting up here. My right knee is gonna have the towel underneath it. Come into side kneeling. Hand behind the head, kick forward and kick back. Flex the foot, then point the toe. Exhale, inhale, hand under shoulder, open up the chest. Great way to work the core, work the hip. Flex forward, point and reach back. 
Now we add that movement and we're gonna challenge the core here. So we try to stay stable and the hips up. On your back, let's do the 100 here so that we can transition to the other side. So come on down, legs are up. You can go heels together, toes turn out, lift the head and shoulders. And we start to pump the arms. And we exhale all the air out. Now, I have my heels together, my toes turn out, and I'm pointing my feet, pointing my toes, and I'm lifting up and in towards the chest. And your head is about eight pounds. Look to your thighs. My kids said, said my head is light compared to theirs. <laughs> Pumping vigorously. It's like you're slapping water. Inhale through the nose. You exhale through the mouth. Tuck in. Other side, we got that side plank. So left hand is gonna be down. We can bend the knees to release the hip to the ground. And then we do a twist right through. Reach up, a little bend. You can even twist those feet. They can, you can come on the balls of the feet and twist through. And if you got that twist, you actually become heels together, toes turned out, and you're in that first position. Drop the hips. No need to rush. Press through that left hand. Kneeling, so now the towel's gonna go underneath the left knee. Coming into that front to back kick. Hand under shoulder. And then we do a flex forward kick, point back. Exhale, inhale. Try to keep that leg at hip height. And then my left foot, I have it anchored down. My toes are kind of digging into the ground. And really, just more important, just let your breath flow. So don't worry about when you do the inhale and exhale. We're gonna be on our back for corkscrew. So looking at the ceiling, legs in that first position, I circle them around to the right, come back to center, and then reverse it to the other direction. And I can go small or big. So I drop, circle down around, and then reverse that. Inhale to start, exhale to finish. If you've been doing Pilates for a while, you could do a bigger one and come into a hip lift and then circle it around. Only if your back allows you. Don't go there because you think you gotta be superwoman, right? And keep your legs glued together. Come on to plank position. We're gonna have our head face this way. We're gonna do three leg lifts. So in that plank, front leg is gonna lift three times from the ground, up, two, now hold it, down dog. Lift the calf of your left leg, and then settle down into plank. Other leg up, three, two, hold, down dog. Lift the calf of the standing leg, and back to plank. You got that now, right? Lift. Down dog, calf, plank, lift, down dog, calf, plank, lift, down dog, calf up. Let's do the other leg, let's get it up here. Up, two, three, down dog, calf, and release. Woo. Now bring the feet forward, hands under shoulders, hips up, hold reverse tabletop here. Are we all up? Now extend your right leg, flex the foot, kick it down and up three times, flex and point, one more. 
switch. Flex, point. Switch it again. Leg is up, flex, point. Switch. Down, lift. Hold it, press the hips up. All the way onto your back. Roll up or neck pull. So if you wanna do roll up, arms reach up, we lift the head and shoulders, dive forward, and then roll back down. Neck pull, hands behind the head, flex the feet, round forward, lengthen, hinge, and then curl down. So you have some options here. The neck pull is definitely harder when your hands are behind your head. And use the legs, press through them. Inhale, exhale, inhale lift, hinge with the flat back on neck pull and then release. And I'm flexing my feet, grounding my legs. All right, come on up into a seated position. Hands out to the side, legs glued together. We're gonna drop them to the front, come onto that hip and then back to center. So we drop to the front, now drop to the back. As you're dropping, keep your body looking forward. Don't look at your feet. Slow it down. You guys are fast. I'm gonna drop and pause and bring it up. Glue the legs together. Can you pull them up and into your body a little bit more? Inhale, exhale. And sometimes you slide down your mat or your pants slide down, right? Can you keep those legs glued together? That's the challenge. I got my heels together, toes turn out. One more to the back. Woo, all right. Legs behind you come into Stomach position, a little modified swan dive because we don't want to hurt ourselves in the driveway today. Hands by your shoulders. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, lower the chest, lift the legs, release the hands. So inhale the chest, exhale the legs lift. And you start to move a little faster. But you have to give me that hand release. And shoulders relaxed. Squeeze the glutes, lift the legs. You need to go slower, then slow it down. Eventually, we're trying to do a little rocking. Release into child. Nice job. We're not gonna go very far here. We're gonna stay in a plank position. We got a twist here. So come into plank. Take the back leg, step it in and sweep it through. Open up into side plank. Hold for a moment. And then hand goes down, leg goes up to single dog. Let's do that again. Sweep it through, open and hold. Push your hips up, hand down. Pull that twist for a moment, single dog. Sweep it through, twist, open. Bring the hand down, but keep the leg there for a moment. Single dog, one more. Sweep through, hold it. All right, other leg. Relax the wrist, right? If you need a little wrist break here. Everybody's good? Okay, let's come into that plank. Sweep to the back, open up, hold it. Hand down, hold for a moment, and then single dog. All right, sweep it through, open up, hand down, hold that twist, come on, single dog. Sweep through, open up, hand down, hold that twist, come on, clean out that midsection of yours, single dog. Sweep, open, hand down, hold, single dog. Go for it again, one more time, sweep, open and release all right nice job bridge grab your weights again i'm gonna go five feet go forward come onto your back arms in t 
And then let's lift the hips and bring the hands together in a fly. Drop the hips and lift the hips. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Press through the heels of the hands in that chest fly. And press through the heels of your feet in your bridge. And when the weights come together, maybe you press them in for a moment. Last one. All right, we're gonna come up into standing. Come to the back of your mat. It's awesome, this is the last move that we have for the series here. All right, girls, we're gonna round it down. Walk out to your plank. Can you go one leg up? You can even put the knee down. Three push-ups. You can have the leg up. Walk back. Round. And we're coming down again. So round and walk. All right, maybe the other leg is up. You can have the knee down. Three push-ups. Walk it back. And we got one more of these. Come round and walk. We're gonna keep going here. Three push-ups. Down dog, stay in the down dog for a moment. Open the feet up. You're gonna settle in down dog. In your down dog, let the heels release. Draw the abs up and in. And you drop that head as much as you can. Push your hips up high to the sky. Just holding a down dog. This is so good for your body. Blood to the head, the stretch in the calves. One last little push. Knees come down. All right, a little child. So we're gonna finish off with a little extra core here because I know you guys love to have more core. So you need to uh, have light weights. I'm gonna be using my threes and then we're gonna be on our back. So it's a teaser. So the arms reach back, the legs are long and we take everything up and everything down. So I can have my feet, heels together, toes turned out. Now if you're struggling, definitely do a one-legged teaser, right? That can help you out. Or use your weights, they will help you to come up. You can even sweep the arms out to the side and that can help you out. But it's control, feel that you've got some balance there. I'm gonna give you some options now. You can come up, you can drop the legs one time and then release down. Come on up, you could drop the legs and release. Or another way is to do it modified. Bent knees, come on up. They can help you to come up and release. You can even go hands behind the knees, rock up, find your V-sit and take it down. We have just a few more seconds here. So we call this teaser. Uses every part of that core. Now sit up, crossing one leg over the other. I'm gonna cross right leg over left. Interlock the hands behind. I'm gonna stretch forward. Then I'm gonna release. So we'll go through this. So stretch forward, reach for the feet. Now roll back and lift the legs up and behind you. They're plowing behind you. Switch the crossing of the legs. Now come up into teaser. So find your balance, hold it. Swim the arms back, legs down, stretch forward. Reach for the toes. Roll down, plow, legs go back. Switch the crossing of the legs. You're up in teaser. Oh yeah, swim back, stretch over the legs, legs down, reach for the feet, roll and come down, legs go over, switch the crossing, zip it and come into that teaser, hold it, swim the arms back, stretch, release, roll, legs up and over, switch the crossing, teaser, pause, swing it back, Legs down, stretch. Last one, roll back. Switch the crossing, come up into teaser, hold for a moment, Oop. and release. All right, grab your weights. We're gonna do a little seated twist. 
leaning back. Bring the elbow to the mat. Now all you gotta do is switch. Nice twist. And I really want a great twist in that waist, so reach that elbow way back. Ring out the waist. You're ringing out your waist. <laughs> Keep the chest lifted. Ugh. Catherine's breathing heavy today. 20 seconds. All right, I wish I had my threes. I can, I can go for it. Come on, you can too. You can finish this off. Nice twist. 10 seconds. Come on to your back. Woo, roll the spine down, knees into the chest. The weights are gonna be by your ears, so you can lock in your elbows, have the weights by the ears, the head can be down or up. Right knee comes in, and then the left knee. So if you need to, drop your head, drop your head. You could even do a little tricep extension. If you wanna try to add a little something. I like that. Pressing the back to the mat. You're gonna have a little arch and that's A-OK. -okay. Really get that knee into the chest, really pull it in. You can do pinkies in, and you're doing that little overhead extension. A little faster, a little faster, here we go. Pick up that tempo. This is seriously a long minute. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> I was like, is that a minute? That was a long minute for me. All right, your waist are gonna be by your hips. And then we're gonna have straight legs. Keep the arms reaching, keep the chest up, and start to scissor the legs. If it's too much in the weights, you know, get rid of them. But here's what I want. I want length. Right, I really want you to reach the legs long. Get the head and shoulders lifted. Chin down, look between your thighs. Oh, come on, a little longer. A little straighter legs, you can get them there. Even if you have to make them smaller, right? On. Now, pick up your pace. Pick up the pace, see how it feels. Woo. You guys stopped early. Oh, now we go. Here we go, come on to your side, facing us. Can you take your bottom arm and wrap it? Wrap your bottom arm, hand in front. We're gonna press up through that bottom hand. We'll do half the time here. So you get some core and you get that tricep again. How's that feel? Amazing. You can let go for a moment and then push it away. I told you, this was power Pilates today. No joke. <laughs> All right, now, extend the legs out, bottom arm reaches, jackknife, lean into your back pocket, reaching for the ankles. It could be one, it could be two. You could bring your bottom arm in a little bit tighter to your body. It's a little bit more challenging. You can kind of come into a straight line and then shift into that jackknife. Ooh, all right, let's swing it around to the other side. Bottom arm is gonna wrap around the ribs. Knees are bent. Hand in front of the elbow. Press the ground away. <clears throat> Try not to cheat on this one, right? Oh, 
like I said, tricep right in the back of the arm. You can do 30 seconds. Just kiss the ground for a moment and then you're coming right back up. Give me one more. Here comes that jackknife, reach out. So lean in the back pocket. You wanna go straight line and then get into that jackknife. Legs go forward. You can have the arm tighter to the body. And every person's gonna have a different range of motion here. So don't worry if you can't get your legs all the way up. You don't have to touch it. Five seconds. All right, we are on hands and knees to start with here. So just give yourself a little cat stretch. And release, coming into a plank. All right, hold for a moment. I want your shoulders down. Tuck your tailbone slightly. Bring the right knee in and touch the right elbow. Now switch. Hold the plank. Now push through the hands, bend the knees, and bring your butt to your heels. Pull forward, right knee. Left knee. Crouch back, but stay low. Now you can move at your pace. You can keep it slow. When you do that crouch, try to get your butt to your heels. It's not gonna touch it, but that's what you're thinking. So the knees just hover over the ground. Pull yourself back and forward here. So it's like a push-pull. Push, then pull. Finish this off. One more crouch. Plank and release. Woo, that is it. So let's start off with pigeon. Bring your right knee forward. Open that knee out to the side. And then lift the chest up. Press through the heels of the hands. And then take a deep breath. Exhale, sink your forehead down. Release into the hip. You did awesome today. This kind of a workout is so good for recovery, for getting you stronger, helping you with your posture. Let's take it up. Chest is lifted. Step it back, down dog. Left knee forward, give me that pigeon. Lift the chest. Take a big inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Releasing the forehead to the hands. Relaxing the shoulders. Press yourself on up, come into a lifted position here and then step back into plank, down dog. Walk your dog here. Press the heels, lift the hips. Bend the knees and then step the feet to the front. Stay there for a moment, grab your elbows, let the head be heavy. And then you're gonna roll yourself up. Relax the arms, go ahead and we can turn forward. Give me a quad stretch here. So pull that foot back, find balance. You can open up the arm. Oh, we've been waiting for the breeze. Oh. All right, let's do the other leg. Find your balance, woo. Really pull that heel to your butt, knee to knee. Release the feet. Give me a wide base here. Inhale, reach up. Now reach back. Let's do some back extension here. Lengthen, lengthen. Arms go out to the side. Roll the shoulders. Step it in. Big inhale. We are gonna finish you off here. Pull it down into your heart, have some gratitude. 
Grateful you did this workout with us today. Thank you so much. Woo. Thank you to these guys behind me. Awesome job. I know normally we're like back there, but it was a little hot today, so we brought it into the shade to stay cool. But I heard some heat building though. I heard him sweating. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this and you're getting great value out of this content, make sure you do hit that thumbs up and comment below. Why don't you share this on your social? Tell your friends about it. Facebook, Instagram, I'm there, you're there. You guys have a great time. We'll see you on the mat again. Bye guys.